So they told you that Antifa was a left-wing group that opposes fascism, right? That was never true. Antifa is the militant youth wing of the Democratic Party. They're enforcers. They're in charge of beating anyone who opposes the regime. Want proof of this? Well, on Saturday in Los Angeles, Antifa stabbed a guy outside City Hall. What did the guy do wrong? He opposed mandatory vaccinations. <laughs> So that's happening in America, seems kind of newsworthy, and yet somehow Andy Noe is still one of the only reporters in America who covers Antifa, and for that he was brutally assaulted by them. He's the author of Unmasked, Inside Antifa's Radical Plan to Destroy Democracy, which they are doing. Andy Noe joins us tonight, we're happy about that. Andy, thanks so much for coming on. So Antifa is for vaccine mandates. How, I mean, I'm not surprised at all, but if you thought they were anti-fascist, you'd probably be a little surprised to hear that, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, to one another and to the public, they present this uh, facade that they are revolutionary anarchist communists. But uh -huh. quite often you'll see that they are um, just the violent enforcers of the liberal establishment. Now, after Trump lost uh, the last election, they've kind of lost a lot of their meaning and purpose in that um, their reasons for fighting people, beating up people before, was to ostensibly oppose Trump and his uh, supporters. Uh, but now we're seeing a pretty troubling development in that they're taking their violence um, out onto Christians engaging in public acts of worship, as has taken place in Portland. And as we saw last weekend in Los Angeles, um, they are um, opposing violently people who are critical of medical technocrats. <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable. So anarchists are for vaccine mandates. So really what you're saying is if Susan Rice and Kamala Harris are in favor of something, Antifa's willing to stab anyone who criticizes it in public. I mean, wh why is this not a militia? Yeah, I think we, we should be questioning more about why their political agendas align uh, more often than not. I think, um, I mean, the disturbing takeaway for me in the, the recent acts of violence in, in cities on the West Coast is that essentially if you don't have your own volunteer uh, security to provide protection, you're going to get assaulted while participating in First Amendment activities. So there was a stabbing that required a hospitalization in Los Angeles. Um, the LP LAPD made no arrests. Um, before that, they were violent rioting by Antifa outside the Wee Spa and before that in Portland. So this is an ongoing issue with Antifa, even though we're not hearing very much about them in the national press anymore. Yeah. Glad we shot Ashley Babbitt. Uh, I love how anarchists are just enforcing the DNC line of the day with weapons. Anarchists. And, you know, you're a brave man to do this. Much reviled for it, but it's, it's worth doing. Thank you. My pleasure.